What's going on everybody? The Germ here at the Greater Philadelphia Expo Center here for gifts for gamers. Let's go inside, let's check it out. It's gonna be awesome. Holy smokes, look at all the people up here. Five, four, three. All right, they're all, you hear how excited they all to see the germ? No, I'm just kidding. They're doing a, they're doing a raffle, I guess there's an hourly raffle. And uh, pretty awesome, got my uh, wristband. Got my little uh, hourly raffle ticket. We'll be here for about two hours. We're gonna check it out and then we're gonna get going because this is a long drive. Who is it? Santa himself. Santa has made the show. Hopefully, Santa helps me find everything that I'm looking for. I made a list. Now, if you guys remember the last show that I went to, I made a major mistake right at the beginning. I made a list, I made it on paper, and I lost the list. <laughs> After the first person I went to their uh, booth. So I made a list of exactly what I'm looking for. I got it on the phone and uh, let's see what we got here. What are we looking for? Alright. So we are looking for Sega Master System games today. Also looking for uh, any Michael Jackson games from Sega Master System, also from the Sega Genesis. Looking for Night Trap for the Switch. A blue Nintendo Wii. Weird, weird one. Uh, a base model Wii, the one with the no internet. Looking for uh, Hot Rapper the Rapper and a Sega 32X. So let's see, uh, that's what's on the list. Let's see what we find. Looks like there's lots of vendors here. This guy's got his angry video game nerd shirt on. Pretty awesome. I met AVGN here last year. Oh, a bunch of Lego minifigures. <laughs> plan was to get here early, unfortunately three and a half hours away. Long, long drive. Did not end up getting up early. Uh, so we're here, it's like two o'clock unfortunately. And uh, I'm sure these games have been well picked through, but we're gonna see what we find. Looks like we got a couple uh, Sega CD games here. Resident Evil. I wonder if that was any good on the Sega CD. Let's see. <laughs> Hundred bucks. Holy smokes. Mickey Mania. I love Mickey Mouse games. Forty-five dollars. Now this one I did recently buy. Echo the Dolphin. I bought it for ten bucks. Let's see how much this guy's got it for. Twenty-five dollars. Looks like I got a pretty good deal. Stuff all over the place, including whatever this is, yeah. but it's got uh, Beavis and Butthead on it. Not, I'm not sure what that is. It reminds me of a Game Boy battery pack, but I'm not sure. You're always going to find a lot of that newer stuff, the Xbox 360 stuff. That is not you need yet a quite collectible, but it's going to be. Look at this PlayStation 2, Simpsons Road Rage. Remember when I was hunting for that? Now I have plenty of copies of that. Don't need that one anymore. Got that one booth there, the guy had a lot of stuff. It's not only game stuff here, these guys are selling like butterflies, skulls and stuff. Not sure what that has to do with gaming, but uh, they're here. We got the guys selling the dice games and board games. Oh, we got, we got some more board game stuff here. Alright, what do we got? We got a Xbox 360, and a Sega Genesis, a original NES, and Let's see about games because that's what we need. We got all the consoles, we need the games. You guys know I'm a Simpsons fan. This guy's got the Simpsons Bart versus the Space Mutants for NES. 20 bucks, not sure if it's a good deal or not. Looks like an original box. I've heard this game is awful by the AVGN itself. But I always like to play games myself. So uh, you might have to take note and come back and, and uh, look at this game again. Lots of cheap uh, sport games in this one here. Terminator 2, for NES, Turtles, that's a good game. Win, lose, or draw. Remember that TV show? Let's see what else we got here. POW, I feel like I've played that before. Rad Racer, good game. Golf, Double Dragon, or not Double Dragon, Double Dribble. Eh, I don't know. This is a game I loved playing the arcade. 18 wheeler, I didn't even know they made this for GameCube. I think I have this for Dreamcast. 10 bucks, I kinda want it. I'm thinking about it. 
What do you guys think? Good game? Well, we made a deal. I got him. I got him. 23 bucks in the bag. Oh, looks like I went to Wendy's. You got I like chili. Do you have any chili? No. Not chili? No. no. We, we made a deal. We misunderstood the deal totally, 100%, but you know what? We made a deal and it worked. Yeah, it, it worked. So, you know what? We're, we're good. So, 23 bucks, not a bad deal. Looking forward to playing those games. Not on the list, but we got them. Thank you. Check this out. This is awesome. Contra, right in the box. But what I love about this, they were showing me on the back. Someone actually wrote down the cheat codes. Before I show them to you, let's see who could be the first ones in the comment below to write them down. See if you guys remember. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right. B, A, select, start. You guys remember that? Awesome. Lots and lots and lots of original PlayStation games. This is where we're going to find Pa Rapper the Rapper. If it exists, you're... Alright, unfortunately, no such luck. We'll keep looking. These guys got some cool, very cool cover art. You're looking for something for your wall. Super Mario 3, 2, original Mario Bros. He's got some good stuff here. Castlevania, oh, look at all the good stuff on the wall. That's pretty awesome. Bunch of NES games and a whole mess of Sega Genesis games. Look at this, five dollars each. Let's see what's in here. This is definitely not where we're going to find the games that I'm probably looking for. Because all the games I'm looking for are gone, getting on the expensive side. Looking for uh, Michael Jackson games here, and I'm definitely not going to find them right here because that's going to be at least a fifty dollar game. No luck. Awesome fun. This guy's got a whole bunch of them for Halloween. Trading cards from 1991 from Nintendo. Has, did anyone ever get a package of these for Halloween? Not recently, of course, but maybe when you were a kid. I've never seen these before. Pretty cool find. All sealed too. He's got three of them. This guy's got two Virtual Boy games. Mario Tennis, which I already have. That came pretty much with the system. And then also... Waterworld, which I heard was one of the worst games made for the system. And there's not many games. I think there's like something like 13, 14 games to make a set. And still not an easy set uh, to make. 100 bucks. Look at that. $100. It's an expensive game for a game that sucks. This guy. Hot Rapper the Rapper. PlayStation games, 5 bucks. But you know what? That is not a $5 game, and I bet you it's not here either. No luck on Pop Rapper the Rapper either. Look what they got, they got all the, uh, the Crash games for PlayStation 2. I was talking to another guy, and I'm wondering, how are these games going to do later on? Now that it's been remastered, and they've come out uh, for the, uh, what did it come out for? Was it the Switch? You know, PlayStation 4, right? And Xbox One, and it's like $39.99. I got it, I love the game. And uh, I thought it was going to be a lot easier. I remember it being easier. Or maybe I just now am not as good as that game. So I'm not sure which one of those we're at. We're at another vendor now. Let's see what they got over here. Look what he's got over here. He's got a Ratchet and Clank PSP. I have this exact same one at home. I don't know what happened to the box. I used to have the box this thing. I remember, yep, there it is. It came with National Treasure. I remember that. Great little system. I bought that actually at ShopRite, funny enough. That's a grocery store if you're not familiar with it. And uh, look what else they got. They got a NES power set with the power pad. It's pretty cool. 200 bucks. Look at this. This guy's got 300 originally boxed NES games. This is insane. It's like an NES fanboy's heaven right here. Let's see if he's got any good ones. Now, my version of a good game may not be your version of a good game, but how about NARC? I loved NARC. That was a that was an awesome game. I remember sitting around playing that in the arcade. Uh, thank you so much for your help. And one of my favorite TV shows, Double Dare, man. Mark Summers. That's awesome. This could be fun. 40 bucks, holy smokes. It's probably a good price, I mean, the original box. Look at all the great games, man. This guy's got some good stuff here. Is, is it Bernstein Bears or Bernstein Bears? 
So you guys know I'm looking for one of the games I'm looking for is Paw Rapper the Rapper. Do you guys have Paw Rapper the Rapper? We do not. What? Oh, look at this thing. That's awesome. Where's the game though? And why the hell did I ever sell it? Oh, mistakes. The guy we were just talking to, his name is Matt. And Matt was actually in the area, kind of in the area of where I live, about an hour away. Where were you? Uh, Catskill, New York. And what'd you find in Catskill, New York? Uh, there's a shop called the Rodney Shop, and I saw two Barappi characters in the window. And I walked inside, I was like, why is there so much Barappi here? And the girl's like, oh, well, the creator of it lives upstairs. This is his store. No way. That's so awesome. It's cool. We're going to have to go and check that out. That's cool. Thank you. These guys over here had a solid deal. Buy two games, get the uh, one free. So obviously you're gonna get the lesser one free. So um, I actually have this already, the Sega Saturn. Uh, Virtual Fighter 2, Virtual Pop at Daytona USA. But uh, mine's sealed. So this one is in kind of ratty shape. And uh, it's open, but the games are in good shape. So uh, got one we can actually play. One of, the, one of my favorite games for PlayStation. Destruction Derby 2, so grab the hold of that. It's pretty cool. And uh, something I never played. It looks absolutely awful. So uh, I want to play it. Ground Zero Texas. Looks like some kind of shooting game. Looks absolutely awful. But uh, we'll find out. <laughs> so check this out. Everybody that has a uh, Game Boy player needs one of these. It's a little uh, Game Boy player card. Actually, this is. Is this the disc? I'm not sure if this is the disc or not. But if you get this bottom piece, keep in mind you need the disc. Kind of hard to find. Very expensive too. Look at these awesome shadow boxes. Looks like someone just bought one. I like this one here from Zelda. It's pretty cool. They got another Zelda one over here. Very cool. I don't know if you guys can tell, it's like 3D art. Fortnite player at all. Never played the game. Heard good things about it, but they have a Fortnite dance competition over here, and uh, people are making a fool of themselves. So, so uh, that's worth checking out. Another one I'm looking for, and then look down here. 
He's got Master System games. Oh, this is the best best finds I've seen so far. Good variety. Chuck, that's not a uh, blue one. <laughs> we got a blue uh, Wii remote with a white pack. He called it the Frankenstein edition, and, that's and then it. that's it's it. Then we got everything else. It's got the instructions. Can we see what kind of condition the Wii's in? Let's see. All right, this is important to me. Let's see if it's scratched up or it's not, uh, bad, it's shape. not in bad shape. It's got it's some scratches on it. Oh man, that, that Wii was in rough shape, but look at this thing. 32x. Looks like it's brand new. In good shape. How much? 200 bucks. Brand new. Oh, it is brand new. All right, doesn't only look brand new, it actually is brand new. 200 bucks. I remember when these were five bucks, and you couldn't get rid of them. No one still wanted them. Didn't end up picking up any of those gaming systems, but did get a World Grand Prix. Seven bucks for uh, not a bad deal. The one thing I learned about game systems is to wait. Uh, the Wii back there, I think it was 50 or 60 bucks, the blue one, in rough condition. I had found one, brand new, in the box, brand new, never opened, in blue, for $100. Unfortunately, I couldn't get to the lady quick enough and someone else bought it. But you know what? You have to wait, you have to be patient. If it's not right, don't buy it. Looks like they got all the arcade one-up machines here. You see all these guys playing. And these are small machines, they're very, very low. So you can see these guys playing. They all have the risers on them, which I think is an extra hundred bucks. They look pretty cool. One of the things I heard that they're wearing a lot, and I noticed that Walmart. And these are probably just here for the day. The Street Fighter version. Picture looks pretty good. <laughs> Got asteroids. Another Street Fighter 2, that's a championship edition. Looks like uh, Street Fighter, Street Fighter 2, Street Fighter 2 Turbos on that one. Then you got Pac-Man, and the only one that I would like is this one here. This is the Rampage one. Now, the Rampage one is a unique cabinet. This is a three-player machine. How you play on three players, I don't know. That would be kind of tight for three adults. But uh, young man here is playing Gauntlet. So that one looks like it includes uh, Rampage, Gauntlet, Joust, and Defender. So two very awesome games that I like. And I heard Gauntlet plays a little slow. We're gonna try Rampage three players. We got, what's your name? What is it? Jaden and Sean. And Sean, I'm also Sean, so that's perfect. Awesome. All right, this is the only three player one I know of. This is gonna be tight. We're gonna play Rampage. I don't know how I'm gonna record it, but we're gonna, we're gonna try. All right. I guess we'll get the big guys on the end here. Let's do this. Press jump button to start game. Oh, there we go. All right, let's do this. All right, it's gonna be. Oh. Where's the? Why am I? Not? Oh, that's right. Yep. My guy's not punching, so that's that's good. All right. So, uh, first impression of this game is uh, since he will not punch, right? We're pressing, all pressing the punch button. You guys just, you guys are working. Mine's not, uh, mine's not, uh, mine, no. mine jumps. Uh, it, it might, it, they might have put it backwards. These guys are having a good time. I'm not, uh, I'm not doing too good. My guy, my guy jumps here, George, see? He jumps, but he won't, and now they're beating me up. I'm defenseless, defenseless. Well, they're gonna have fun since my guy won't punch. I'm gonna, I'm gonna nail. My guy only jumps, so uh, I don't know what's going on with that. But yeah, it is what it is. Check this out, AVGN right behind me. That's awesome. And that uh, blue shirt there, no one's there. Let's go check them out. Let's go ahead, beat them. See what the weirdest thing he's ever signed. Curious. Special treat, special surprise. The one, the only. AVGN James, Angry Video Game Nerd. This guy, if you haven't checked him out, he makes the best video game videos ever. James, I gotta ask you a question. He doesn't know what I'm gonna ask him. What is the weirdest thing? I know people come here, I've seen them on eBay, they have you sign shit and then they sell it. What's the weirdest thing that you sign? Shoot a piece of a bagel. <laughs> Shoot a piece of bagel. I don't know if I could be. Well, you know what? That's, that's uh, debatable. A stick bug. That's, that's kind of weird. Too. How do you sign a stick bug? Uh, it's almost impossible. Okay. It, All was, right. it was dead. We got it was a dead stick bug. Very hard to sign. Weird. You gotta have a fresh. Like, you gotta get a, a fresh marker where the, the tip is really fine, you know? And just like. 
you can't even really discern any type of uh, autograph on it. It's just, <laughs> nice. it's just nonsense. So I got, I got a new one for you. Okay. Now the germ is bold. Will you sign my bullet head? Okay. I'm never gonna watch this thing again. Can you sign right on the floor. Right we're gonna get this. Yeah, we're gonna get this. Okay. Right? Yeah, we're gonna get this done. Dead on okay. the face. Yes. Yeah, do it. All right. Now we're gonna sell it. Oh, Jesus! He messed up. Oh my God. Nah, there's right. nothing on there. He's done. We gotta get him on there. There we go. Ready? All right. Let's see. There we go. All right. All right. How'd it come out? Nice. What we gotta do is we gotta have a baby. Have you ever signed a baby? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna talk to Jenna tonight. We're gonna make a baby, and then we're gonna bring it back and have it sign. You're gonna be here next year. Uh, I, I will, most likely. All right, cool. I'm gonna bring you a baby next year, and uh, that gives me. Right, 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 so I got three, three, three months. Games, or gonna get some games again, or uh, too many games? I like too many games. Yeah. Like, like last week in June. That's gonna be too soon. Man. Too soon. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I need like at least nine months. Oh, okay. Yeah. You, you need to make the baby first. Right. Exactly. Okay, gotcha. All right, so we're going to make the baby. Right. We're going to bring it back. We're going to have James sign it. How's that sound? Okay. All right, thanks a lot, everyone. Thanks for being in the video. Okay. <laughs> that was awesome. James is here again this year. He's here last year. He signed the germ's head. The weirdest thing he had signed before was a bagel. Today, it was the germ's head. So we'll never wash this head. And uh, we're going to have to work on a baby so he can sign that. That would be cool, too. All right, guys, I think that's about it. Here for uh, gifts for gamers. It's been fun. It's been a good time. But it's time to go. Anyways, love you guys. Thanks for watching. If this is your first time watching, please like, share, subscribe. We do all kinds of videos. We have fun. If you want to mail the germ something, the germ's address is PO Box 818, Hyde Park, New York 12538. And uh, don't forget to leave a comment below. Thanks for watching, guys.